Hey, what's up? It's your boyfriend, Zorro. Today I'm going to talk about how I was able to quit drinking for a year. Something that I've attempted so many times but was totally unable to in the past. I've tried for decades to quit drinking, but um, it always crept back somehow. I always I was able to quit for maybe like a month or maybe two at one point, but I was never able to stop completely. And when I did try, it was extremely hard and I had the hardest time doing it. And I thought it was kind of hopeless, but I actually did. So I want to share with you how I did it. I didn't use any 12-step program. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I didn't have to. Um, and I didn't use any kind of like whatever medication or anything like that. So uh, I'm going to take you back to about a year ago. Or actually, almost a year to the dot. Um, I was in a relationship with a person that I cared about a lot and uh, things were a little shaky because um, of my tendency to kind of go off and start talking shit when I was drunk. That was one of the biggest, I think, problems with um, that I had before is that, and I thought I was a ha happy drunk, but uh, sometimes things would come out of my mouth that were horrible. Sometimes they were kind of truthful. Sometimes they were horrible. Uh, not just with people I've been with, but even with friends and burned all kinds of bridges. Uh, because I have no filter when I drink and all my rage comes out and I just start talking shit sometimes. That's just the truth of it. And I kind of had to come to a realization. So last year when I was in this relationship, I was, uh, we were drinking a lot together and it just kept happening where I would be triggered by something and I would say shit that I couldn't take back and I felt really, really bad about it uh, because I really cared for this person. I didn't want to hurt them, but you know, shit just kept coming up. Uh, so I vowed last year that I was like, okay, that, that I can't do this anymore. I need to quit drinking and I quit drinking while I was still with her actually um but uh yeah it still didn't work out which is totally fine I have yeah everything's way better now anyways so it's great but I definitely know that I can't be drinking anymore so I did attempt to do 12-step program before like AA like last year or a couple years ago and although it was, I totally got it. And I've been, I've been to a couple of uh, meetings before. One thing that I don't like about AA and the 12 step program, well, there's a couple of things. One is that they constantly talk about drinking. And when I'm trying to quit something, I just, especially if I'm not reminded of it all the time, I don't want to be re reminded of it all the time. So going to meetings every day or whatever, every other day, or even a couple of times a week was really tiring to hear about drinking and how awesome it was but you know now everybody quit so they're just you know coping with not being drunk all the time this is not uh healthy it's not something that i want to keep hearing about so i didn't pursue a 12-step program um i well i'll tell you also towards the end of my drinking career what i noticed was because i've been drinking you know since i was younger so before i was 21 obviously, which I don't recommend you do because I'm sure it affects your brain in ways that aren't great. For the longest time, I was able to drink fine and I would have a good time and I would be drinking, you know, a fair amount. But then towards the end of my drinking, I noticed that I was constantly blacking out. Like every time I drank, I would black out. I think a lot of it has to do with my tolerance. Um, I'm kind of like a bigger guy, I guess. Not huge but I am kind of like a bigger guy and I don't know if that has anything to do with it but my tolerance for alcohol is crazy and I would drink a lot like I told my doctor once and I told him that I was drinking he asked me if I drank I said yes he said how many I said 12 and he said oh 12 beers a week and I was like no 12 beers a day and I would only drink from 5 6 o'clock p.m. till like probably midnight so I was putting them away constantly. Then I started going towards harder alcohol just because it got it done a lot quicker. I never really drank for the taste of it. I'm not a huge fan of the way that alcohol tastes. I think it tastes fine, but whatever. Uh, so then I started drinking, you know, for the longest time I drank Jack and Diet Cokes. Uh, having 12 beers a day 
put me put so much weight on me um like a lot of weight i've dropped almost 100 pounds like a lot of weight like 90 some pounds or something and a lot of it had to do with drinking so i'm not taking those i'm big i'm not doing any of that shit i walk every day i exercise and i watch what i eat but uh yeah it was kind of crazy 12 beers a day i mean if you imagine the amount of sugar and carbs and all the empty uh, calories and stuff it's not good also not good for my liver i started getting like these weird little aches on my right side uh, and that's where your liver's at. So I was like, fuck, you know, all these things are happening, but I just couldn't stop. I, I had a really hard time with it. Um, but I did notice that I was constantly blacking out every time I would drink. I, when I woke up the next day, I would not remember most of the night. Didn't remember how the night ended. Um, I would be extremely paranoid about what I said and what I did, because I would do and say some cringy ass shit, and it was so embarrassing, and I've burned so many bridges because of that, but at least I was able to quit, so things are a little better now, at least I have some control of what I say and what I do, where before I totally didn't, uh, at least when I was drinking, and uh, also by no means am I completely sober, I just, I'm not drinking alcohol anymore, uh, it's really, it doesn't jive with my system. And I think one of the biggest things that I took away from this whole thing is that if I'm going to do something for fun or for recreation and it's becoming a burden and it's actually making my life miserable because I would wake up, you know, with hangovers, feeling guilty for what I did and said, um, having no energy, my stomach would be all fucked up constantly. So if I'm doing that for fun and it's not fun anymore, then that was the tipping point. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't have to use any anything more um, or any kind of like uh, program or anything is because it just stopped being fun and it had stopped being fun before but I wasn't honest about it and I think it just came to a point where I felt almost desperate for some kind of change and um, it was time for me to quit just you know I'm gonna give it a chance I'm gonna give it a shot see if uh, see if I can make this fun again and not have it be a burden and not have something in my life that's, you know, totally holding me back constantly. I hold myself back enough as it is. Like, I don't need an extra thing to hold me back. So, uh, so then, um, you know, I just stopped from the very start of me quitting. And I don't know if this is good advice for everybody, but me personally, uh, I would still hang out with my friends that drank. I still hung out at bars, like from day one. My friend wanted to meet me at a bar. I was like, sure. I was never a bar drinker, really. I didn't, I don't love hanging out at bars, but regardless, I was able to go. Um, I think it's kind of fun trying to find something to drink at a bar without having alcohol. Uh, there's all kinds of mocktails and stuff now. There's an alcoholic beer, which I didn't have till a few months after. Um, I just wasn't, I didn't want to just have that constant, um, use of even if it was an alcoholic I just didn't want that to still be a part of my routine I want to find a way around it so I drank a shitload of carbonated alcohol or <laughs> carbonated water uh, whatever soda water whatever they call it um, or like tonic and like lime I would have an alcoholic beer I would have sodas I would have Red Bulls which I actually enjoy having a lot like a diet Red Bull because it gives me energy and usually when I'm drinking, my energy starts kind of dropping or I get weird energy. So uh, that was that was pretty cool still to this day. And it's actually kind of cool being around people that are drinking as a reminder of why I don't drink. Because some people just talk out of their ass and slurring and just being belligerent and stuff. It, it actually gets kind of annoying and it can be you know they're repeating people are just repeating stuff and I used to do the same thing just tell the same stories over and over or say stupid shit get hung up on things on their brain and just whatever I have way better things to do with my time now I just you know that was super low vibe energy so I'm glad I was able to get out of that and have a little bit of sanity in my life and although my life is not perfect by any means uh, I still, you know, I feel great not having alcohol being such a big burden in my life. Um, also, 
a huge thing, at least for guys, that I've noticed is that sex life has gotten a lot better. Uh, not only am I more present when I do have sex, uh, but I also find that everything works better. Um, you know, I have more energy, I'm not sloppy, and I can actually remember the next day. That was one of the biggest things that really sucked is like, you know, having sex with someone or a really good time or whatever and not remembering shit about it really sucked. So still hanging out at bars sometimes. I go to clubs. I go to events that there's alcohol all over the place. I'm not tempted one tiny bit. Uh, I just know what it would lead to. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some times uh, where after, like if I go hiking after a hike, a beer sounds really good. Uh, but it's not a huge thing. It's just a passing thought where I'm like, damn, it sounds kind of good to have a drink. But then I kind of fast forward a little bit that the one drink would lead to 12 drinks would lead to feeling like shit and waking up the next day and that whole thing. So I just got real with myself. There's a point that I know I can't handle it. I, I can, I can probably have a beer now and not like die or anything, but I just don't even want to go there. I don't even want to touch it. I don't want to go anywhere near it. I just don't like alcohol. Alcohol was never really a huge drug for me that I loved using it became a coping mechanism a lot where especially if I was anxious because I do have anxiety problems sometimes that arise uh, alcohol was something that totally numbed that anxiety but then it would continue on and then it became a whole other thing you know like I would just become completely belligerent and then the next day I would have twice the anxiety that I would have if I didn't drink so I also had to get real about that. So my personal opinion and advice to anyone that's struggling is to just be honest. Uh, be honest about where you're at. You know, find you like to drink, you like to have a good time. I totally get that. Is it a good time or are you having a bad time? Is it getting in the way of your life? Are you, you know, that's one thing also that I was doing that was horrible and nobody should do it is that I would drive intoxicated a lot and you know maybe I wasn't over the legal limit or who knows maybe I was but I know a couple of times there have been that I definitely was and it's so responsible not only for hurting myself but hurting an innocent person even if you're driving perfectly and say you don't see someone crossing the street and you hit them if you are drunk or if you're, you know, under the influence, that just becomes a whole other case. Totally unnecessary. Such an easy way to ruin your life. So for me, it just, all the bad kind of out outweighed the good. So there, I just had to kind of stop. Um, what I've noticed is that you know, my brain works a lot better. My mood is a lot better. Um, I had to get used to coping without alcohol like when I did feel anxious or when I was going through something or having a good time whatever the reason is why I would drink in the first time the first place is that I had to find new ways to fill that and that's totally up to you one thing that I actually surprisingly found that works really well for me and I hate it when people said this but exercising works really really well I walk every day and uh, I do some exercises and stuff and I just feel way better all over. Um, I drink a lot of water. I drink all kinds of fun, like I said, energy drinks and all kinds of different stuff. Um, and after a couple of months, I noticed how much better I felt. And I was like, all right, this is great. And to be completely honest, it's not like every day I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I feel so much better. I feel kind of like the same. I feel a little bit better. My body feels better. I definitely don't have all those stomach problems and all the anxiety issues that were from alcohol. Um, but I don't have just that extra, like having to plan my night out on when I'm going to drink because if I'm driving somewhere, I'd be like, shit, now I can't drink. And everything had to do around scheduling my life around alcohol. Uh, it, it was just really annoying. It became such a burden. And, and now I'm just, you know, I don't have to deal with any of that shit. I could just go anywhere. It's great to be a designated driver too. If I have friends that are drinking, they know, you know, I'm not drinking, so I can definitely drive. People ask me after parties, they're like, are you okay to drive? I'm like, yeah, I haven't drank anything. So it's actually kind of cool. I get to, um, you know, feel good about going places and leaving and 
being being okay, not being in danger of getting a DUI or some shit like that. So I just wanted to get that out of my out of my heart. I've been meaning to do this video for a while. Nothing crazy or fancy, but I think that this might help you guys if you're struggling with quitting. It's definitely possible. One of the biggest takeaways that I've found throughout this whole thing is that it's not that hard. And I've had it be extremely hard. I've had it be impossible to quit. So I think the key is realizing the actual negative effects of alcohol, even making a, a pros and cons list, I think would be helpful to just really see what is the pro and what is the con and be completely honest about it. If you really think, you know, alcohol gets rid of my anxiety or it makes me feel funnier or whatever the case is, like write it down. Just know that a lot of things like being funnier, like what was my thing? I thought that I was a lot funnier when I was uh, drunk. I was actually a lot cringier when I was drunk, but I thought I was funnier. And, you know, I've done so much growth during this past year of not drinking where I was like, wow, you know, there was a lot of illusion and a lot of lies that I told myself about what alcohol was to me. Um, it's really, really added, it's, it's an additional habit in your life, at least in my life, that got in the way a lot, but I worked around it just to make it work. But in reality, it wasn't really giving me that much um, benefit. So having a little bit of distance from it was great. Even if you take a day break, it's better than, you know, drinking. Drinking is one of the worst things for you. I can't believe it's even legal. It's there's no benefit to it at all even for the things that it may relieve like anxiety and stuff you know it, you get it back twice the next day so it's not even you know uh, that big of a benefit at all so being honest you guys can do it trust me i was the biggest drunk ass and i didn't give a fuck and i drank constantly and it, i just got fed up and i was able to quit and i know you guys can too if you're struggling with it, there's sources out there. 12 step might actually be a great idea for you. Personally, for me, I just don't wanna hear everybody talking about alcohol all the time. And I also don't like, when I went there, everybody's stories were so extreme. It, it was almost like a pissing contest of who had it the worst before. Like this guy got, you know, they took four cops to hold me down and I shot at this thing and I killed, you know, whatever the case was. It just seemed like everybody had in a story that was more extreme than the next person. And uh, I almost felt like, I'm like, am I an alcoholic? Like these people have been in jail and have done all this shit, you know, because of alcohol and I haven't. So it almost made me feel like I'm not alcoholic enough to be there, which is ridiculous because I definitely was. Um, and yeah, that's it. My life is much better now. Um, I feel better, I look better, um, and yeah, it's, it's a good thing. I totally encourage you to, if you guys have any questions, please, you can comment below, let me know, and there's a lot of other people that have done it as well. Everybody has their own way. My way was a little different because I didn't use the traditional methods of quitting, but yeah, I feel much better, um, and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I hope you guys find all the solutions in your lives that you're looking for and that you have peace and happiness. And I think that's what it all comes down to is having some peace and happiness uh, consistently. And if there's anything in your life that is holding that back, then it's good to kind of take a good, truthful look at it and see how you can fix that, eliminate it or work with it somehow. So I love you guys. More videos to come soon. And I'll talk to you later. Much love, y'all. Peace.